Back in March 2020, Kawasaki patented a new dual injection version of its supercharged H2 engine. Well, the prototype of that engine was revealed and there was a little surprise. It's not powered by fossil fuels, rather this will be a near zero emission sports bike that will run on hydrogen. And Kawasaki says that the engine will not only be polar bear friendly, it will also retain its character and the technology will match that of a modern day gasoline powered engine. Now originally, when Kawasaki designed this dual injection engine, the goal wasn't to use hydrogen, rather to use traditional gas but to lower total emissions. How exactly does this dual injection engine work? Well, the engine is both direct injected and port injected at the same time. This makes it possible to use all the gas that enters the combustion chamber, so no unburned gasoline escapes the cylinder. It also helps for high compression and helps prevent knock. In other words, it's a win-win. Okay, so why did they decide to use this as a base for the hydrogen research? Well, we all know we need to find greener ways to live our lives. And while many companies are working on electric bikes, it's just not the same. The feeling of an engine vibrating and shaking under you, screaming or roaring through the revs as you accelerate to your desired speed is just something no electric can replace. So in order to keep that feeling, we need to find ways to make the internal combustion engine more viable. Now there are multiple ways of doing this, and I have discussed most of them on the channel, and I'll leave links to the full videos down below, but our options currently are e-fuels, like the ones Porsche is working on, biomass fuel, like Formula 1 is working on, or methanol based fuels or hydrogen internal combustion engines. Each one of these has their own merits and challenges, but Kawasaki believes the future is hydrogen internal combustion engines, and so does Yamaha. So Yamaha and Kawasaki join forces, and the two companies will work side by side in order to develop hydrogen engines for their future motorcycles. Now like we said, Kawasaki is using the prototype engine as its basis for their development, but why? Well, direct injection is best for hydrogen powered motors, as hydrogen in its gas form would displace too much air from the intake charge if it was port injected, hugely reducing performance. Now, we have hydrogen being injected straight into the combustion chamber, as well as charged air coming through the intake by means of the supercharger, which would maximize the total power output the engine would be capable of. Now, the thing that makes hydrogen so good is the fact that it has very little bad byproducts, as the byproduct of burning hydrogen is H2O, aka water vapor. But there is one negative. You get other emissions besides water vapor, mainly you get nitrogen oxide, and if you are looking for a zero emission alternative to gas, hydrogen's nitro oxide emissions take it out of the running, although it's still much, much better than running normal gas powered engines. But let me know what you think of what Kawasaki is working on. I mean, Toyota is already working on hydrogen powered cars. They've got the hydrogen powered Corolla with the turbocharged engine and they're running it and it's working perfectly in race conditions, which means it should be fine on the road. And now Kawasaki is also doing the same thing, working with internal combustion engines and use forced induction to keep the power levels nice and high. So I think this is a possible future as long as they can get green ways to produce the hydrogen and I am totally for it because you'll still have that sound of internal combustion engine, the roar, the vibrating, everything is not going to be boring and there's no range anxiety and all of that stuff. I think this isn't a bad option um, and if you use the volcanol fuel that I talked about in this video, you can use that methanol to power the plants that make the hydrogen so all in all it will just be like one super green thing yeah but let me know what you think down below um i'll check you guys in the next one cheers eh?